Hello, everybody. My name is Gabby Jones. I am a consultant at Encryption Consulting. Encryption Consulting covers all of the aspects of security concerns, such as data security, key management, and privacy. Today, we're going to be discussing a topic and debate in the cybersecurity world, tokenization versus encryption. Both the technologies are pretty popular in the cyber world. However, there is a high confusion in organizations on which is the better technology for protecting their sensitive data um, for their company. In this video, we're going to go over the basics of encryption and tokenization, and then we're going to go over the differences. So let's start with a brief introduction of tokenization. Tokenization is a process of digitally representing objects. Tokenization has many utilities based on the domain it is used. For example, it can be used to represent physical objects in digital format. To understand that, um, assume a token ABC representing, say, an amount less than 100,000 and token XYZ representing an amount less than 1 million, but more than 100,000. It makes it much easier to decode and make meaningful connections that way. It also makes the information less cluttered in case of huge chunks of data being sent through. A well-known domain where tokenization is used uh, would be Bitcoins. Now, from a security perspective, if a digital application uses these tokens, such as previously mentioned, the ABC or XYZ, it is very difficult to decipher it in its actual value. These connections between the tokens and the actual values are only known to the authorized users and actors. What is encryption? Encryption is the most commonly used data protection technique to protect sensitive data, especially in transit. Basically, there are two types of encryption used, symmetric and asymmetric. We will go over the basics of encryption in this part of the video. Encryption is the process of using an algorithm to transform plain text information into a non-readable form called ciphertext. When the intended recipient accesses the message, the information is translated back to its original form in a process called decryption. Depending on the keys used, there are two types of encryption. One, symmetric encryption. Two, asymmetric encryption. Symmetric encryption or symmetric cryptography is the same unique key. Um, it uses the same unique key for both uh, encryption and decryption. Public key encryption is also known as asymmetric encryption. This is because of the involvement of two keys, the public key and the private key performing the encryption. Keys are basically a code developed to make readable messages into gibberish text in order to protect that data from intruders or hackers. If the process leverages encryption, then keys will be involved. So to store and manage the keys, organization has to perform key management. So what are the major differences between encryption and tokenization? Encryption and tokenization are two different modes of protecting data. However, encryption primarily focuses on data in transit, but alone cannot provide complete security. To get a much more wholesome security, tokenization has to complement the encryption technology. So encryption, you see um, in the working process, it is plain text being transformed into ciphertext using an encryption algorithm and key. With tokenization, however, um, sensitive data has a randomly generated token value. Data supported um, for encryption, payment cards um, are structured data that are supported and then unstructured data would be entire files and full emails. For tokenization, however, structured data is um, would be payment cards, social security numbers, et cetera. Um, skip down just a little bit. Security strength uh, for encryption. Original sensitive data leaves the organization, but in its encrypted form. Tokenization 
you see original sensitive data never leaves the organization. You may or may not use encryption as a mapping function. Um, you could use a hash function or a static mapping table. Uh, encryption does not have any use of tokenization internally. So the choice between encryption and tokenization is not always straightforward. Whether your organization should opt for tokenization or encryption will depend on your own requirements. Regardless of which one you choose for protecting your information, both can help satisfy regulatory requirements that are imposed by different regulations. So this is going to conclude our discussion about encryption and tokenization and their differences and which one you should use. Thank you for watching the video. If you're interested in learning more about encryption in detail, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. And if you want your algorithm to be more tuned in to encryption consulting, please feel free to give this video a like. It would help our channel as well. Go to encryptionconsulting.com if you have any questions or concerns about encryption or details on it. Thank you.